Hey people, it's not as talky. Now this is just going to be a short video and this is another one of my recommended reading ones. Now I'd like to thank a YouTuber called HTO Health and Opulence for recommending this book. Now he's no longer online anymore but he was quite influential in his time. So anyway, this book is called The Power of Your Subconscious Mind by Dr. Joseph Murphy. I'm just going to read the blurb. A classic among self-help literature, The Power of Your Subconscious Mind introduces and explains mind-focusing techniques to remove the subconscious obstacles that prevent us from achieving the success we want and deserve. This authorized edition of Dr. Murphy's groundbreaking work includes additional commentary drawn from his unpublished writings. As practical as it is inspiring, the superb guide uses real-life case studies to demonstrate how to unleash your extraordinary mental powers to build self-confidence, create harmonious relationships, gain professional success, amass wealth, conquer fears and phobias, banish bad habits, and even affect physical healing and promote overall well-being and happiness. Now, one of the things I'll say to people is that in the book, he talks about, not to an overwhelming extent, but he does reference Bible texts and stuff about prayer, and he uses them to explain the, the link between the, what you create in the world and your beliefs. And one thing I would suggest, like, people who are hardcore atheists who are just very skeptical, I would just recommend them not read it, because if you're just going to read it and you'll just get angry and frustrated at the mere mention of a Bible verse or anything talking about belief, because... I guess he talks about the link of the real world and the subconscious because he talks about there's your conscious mind which is handling everything on a conscious level like all your thinking and your subconscious level which handles things on a very primal level and which deals with all the other stuff that goes on like anyway it's, I don't want to go into the whole thing because it's quite complicated complicated to explain. It's, it's simple when you read it, but trying to explain it is a bit hard to do, but it's a very interesting read, and I've only read about 50 pages of it, and it's very ew, engrossing. You just can't really put it down. And the whole thing, it reminds me of, have you ever seen the film American Go I mean, not the film, the TV show American Gods, and there's a character called Mr. Wednesday, and he said, people believe things, which makes them real. Which comes first, the gods that people believed in, or the people who believed in the gods? Now, I don't want it to be like, oh, I'm endorsing any religion or anything. It's just like a quote from him because it just was a really good one. But anyway, like I said, I really suggest that you get this book if it's in your library or you order it off a bookshop because it's very interesting and it might change your life, I think, to bring the right things into your life because if you change your thinking, you can change your life. Anyway, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.